Let's talk about a cervical restoration. So here we go, let's do one. This is an older lady that comes in, she's got sensitivity on that molar. She doesn't like the, the way that the others feel. So I said, well, let's take care of them. Now you got three of them here, all right? The two by customers and the, and the second molar. But in the meantime, we're gonna prep it. You're gonna use a micro diamond. Micro diamonds are great because they have great access. They're small diamonds and they can get you anywhere you want without creating a problem. So you're here, you're down in this particular instance, You've got sclerotic dim. You've got biofilm. How do I get rid of it? Not with a probing cup because I don't want to irritate the gingival. And you can see the gingival health of this person is impeccable. Why would I touch it? So I'm going to use a burr watch. I can control about 10,000 RPMs and copious amounts of water. Barely touch the dent. Smooth out the dent. Take the margin slightly beneath the free margin because that's the aesthetic zone. I do not end in the gingival crest. I do not end above the gingival crest. I, anything that's cervical, I'm going to take beneath the free margin, okay? And you'll see why in a second. So I prep it, and I freshen up the dent. You can see the dental margin is now just slightly, maybe a, a two-tenths of a millimeter beneath the free margin. Then I'm going to uh, prep a long bevel. Same thing, clean and neat. You can see the length of the, of the, of the long bevel. Then we're going to acid etch those areas. And here I'll isolate many times with a metal strip. And after I acid etch, I put on my bonding adhesive. So here we go. We go ahead and apply our, our, our bonding adhesive. I like the brush because you can tuck it underneath the free margin without doing any damage. You can see how that brush goes right underneath the free margin. We air thin it. Once we do that, this is a, this again a sort of a mopperism. It's the most difficult part of doing a, a, a cervical restoration is blending it down to the cervical and having it stay on. So when I was doing this, I said, how can I do, do it easier? So I said, well, let's try a flowable down there because resin bonds to resin actually adheres to resin better than it adheres to two surface. So I, what I do with cervical is I will put a small amount of flowable microfill. These are all now replacements. So I'll put a flowable microfill in there. It's slightly underfilled. Notice keeping the concavity, and it actually goes down there and slightly steals the margin. I will polymerize that. Now, I take the ellipse of, of microfill, sculpt it, shape it, and it's gonna to stick to that area much better. I start it, I tack it down towards the jiggle and, 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 and sculpt towards the uh, occlusal. And I'll tack it to the occlusal. That makes it easier to shape and inform it. And it's, you got a much better flow. And, and, and so that's what we do. And you can see now I cleave off the excesses. And once I got that shape and form, I polymerize it. Now, there was a, one of the wraps on microfilm is that there's more shrinkage than the other materials, and there is. But you know why I never had a shrinkage and never had defective margin? Because and I, this is sort of through source serendipity, because I knew as, as a technician, I could not seal the margin with a single application. So I did the best I could to seal that margin, then I polymerized it, got the shape the best I could, and then I polymerized it, and then I added an ellipse of material down there to close all the margin. And I placing it gets the already pre-polymerized material, shaping it, forming it, sculpting it, getting it the way I want it. And the beauty of this, look at the tissue. The tissue is impeccable, okay? But the beauty of it is I can do all three at one time and I can finish all three at one. I don't have a contacts I have to worry about. So I can do this in quadrant. So this is quadrant dentistry. So now I can finish in a quadrant. I, I can keep going through this. We'll do it fast. I, I will, might start with an ET and, and refine it. You can see I've got it tipped away from the two surface. Now I go up towards the occlusal. When I get towards the occlusal, I want to refine that and blend it in with a disc. I might start with the ET burr, but that, the way you're going to find, make finite margins is with the coarse disc. Once you get the, the finesse of, of, of feather edging that down on the surface where you can't find it with the coarse, then you go through the medium, the fine, and the super fine. And you can see the flex of the disc. And then we finish it with our polishing tape. So we go from here. That's the way she came in to here a year later, and you can see the 
the tissue and how it responds. 